And can I invite Councillor Arthur to speak? Uh, thank you, Lord Provost. And, and, and well done, it was a good speech, actually. Well done. It's good when we can disagree with humour, and I think that's something we have to remember. I'd like to start by agreeing with some of the points that Councillor McVeigh, Campbell and Gardner ma made. I mean, I share a lot of their concerns about the Conservative government and the impact of the cost of living crisis, which I think they could do more to remedy. But I have to admit, I've got bad hearing, and this, this is true. So, but I missed the point where they talked about the inaction of their own government on the cost of living crisis and the fact that they could do more and some of their policies have made it worse. And that's, so that's, that's the balance we need in this chamber. We need to stand up for the people, everybody in our city, irrespective of what our party is. That's <coughs> our job. In terms of the programme for government, we didn't put ours online yesterday. For our administration, sorry. We didn't put ours online yesterday. We published ours about two months ago. That's what we're standing on. That's what people are voting for today. It's the most progressive and most radical and most left-wing programme this city has seen for a decade. And that is what we are going to implement. There's, there's policies here on reaching net zero, increasing active transport funding by 50% and building more council offices. Not unaffordable, affordable housing, but council housing. That is what we are going to do. And we will, also, we will do that while also focusing on service delivery. We won't be telling people the condition of the roads are improving when they can look at their window and see they're not. We won't be telling people that council housing houses are getting built when they're not. We will be truthful and we will be honest about the challenges our city faces. And we will send Councillor Day to COSLA to stand up for our city. I back some of the policies in the SNP Green programme. I absolutely do. And I hope we can take forward some of the ideas around the, tra the, the tram network. But a business case is only the start. Our city needs funding to deliver these projects. <laughs> and, with, and with Councillor Day in COSLA, those arguments will be made alongside other council leaders right across this country. And everybody in this chamber has a duty to stand up for our city and demand it is fairly funded. I'm getting a bit excited now. And, <laughs> And yesterday I also wrote to uh, Alison Murphy, Murphy, who convenes the EIS branch in Edinburgh, and I made it clear to her that Councillor Day will be in COSLA backing fair pay claims and fair condition claims for Edinburgh's teachers. And I'll do that likewise with uh, council staff right across our remit, because they deserve our support. Councillor Day will not be sitting on his hands in COSLA, he will be standing up for our city, it's th the council's employees, in, this, in our city, I guess. And going forward, going forward, I, I look forward to us all working together. If you go look back to the start of the meeting, and this is always true, when we work together, it's, it's when this chamber is at its best. And wasn't it fantastic we all agreed on both uh, Councillor Cameron and, and Councillor Aldridge to, to lead on the Lord Provost and the Deputy Convener roles. And we need more of that. We need to focus on where we agree. But I'll be honest, there's only three parties in this chamber who gain votes and gain seats over in the recent election. That was the Lib Dems, the Greens and Labour. And so our first call must be to them because they are the parties which are in the ascendancy. But I am open to seeking common cause with all parties in this chamber. And I look forward to doing that. Thank you, Lord Provost. Thanks very much, Councillor Arthur.